Hi everybody. Today I'd like to show you how to create your own holiday stationery using OpenOffice. OpenOffice is a free program. It's available for both Windows and Mac and it's very similar to Microsoft Office. Over here on the left I created stationery using the draw module and then saved it as a PDF file. By doing it this way you'll have to first print your stationery then you'll have to go back and reprint on the stationery whatever text you want to put on it. On the right side I used OpenOffice Writer which is similar to Word and again we can put our clip art in our letter however you don't have quite as much flexibility to arrange your clip art and your artistic look as you do in the draw module. Let me show you uh, how to go about doing this. The first thing we need to do is download our clip art. There are three different sites that I'm recommending and you can find links to those down in the description area below this video. Before we download however we need to create a folder in order to hold the clip art. So I'm going to go down here to our start button. I am going to right click choose Windows Explorer, File Explorer, and Windows 8. And I would suggest that you put this clip art under your pictures. So if we right click, create a new folder, and we're going to name the folder just clip art. Okay. Okay, so I've got the first website up and these images, this clip art, is all uh, JPEG images. And in order to download your JPEG images, you simply right click and save your image as and you need to choose your folder which is pictures and clip art so left click on that twice there are no items there yet so just go ahead and click save and now we should have let me click on clip, clip, clip art over here and now we have that saved if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there are several different categories of Christmas clip art that you can uh, download. And I'm going to go to the Christmas ornaments. And this is one that we used, so I'm going to right click on that and save the image as. We're already in the correct folder, so I'm going to click save. Okay, the next website I'm going to show you contain PNG files. PNG files differ from JPEGs in that they have transparent areas. If this were a JPEG image right here and you downloaded it, the inside of this frame would be white. With a PNG file, the inside of this frame is transparent. So if you drag the, the frame over a picture, for instance, the picture would show through in the frame in the transparent area. So I am going to download two items here. I'm going to download Christmas Holly. And this is slightly different because you've got to click on the image and you've got to click again until you get the full size image then you can right click and then you can save the image as and here again we're in the correct folder but so far we have no PNG files so they're not going to show up here until we save so I am going to click and save that and you can see it appeared all right I'm gonna I am going to uh, X out here and then I'm going to go back and we're going to save the garland because I was using the garland. Again, we click on the image and right click, save as, and save. 
and now we have our garland. All right, we have all the clip art we need. The next item is for our text. And there's a really cool site that I like to go to, and actually it's called cooltext.com. And if I click on that, we have multiple different choices, different text, different styles, but the one we're going to use, if I can find it here real quick, is this one. So I'm going to click on that. And this site allows you to create your own fancy text, your own fancy logos. And each one of these items has their own set of attributes that you can change. Uh, for instance, we can change the text, we can change the font, we can change the font size and the colors. If we change the text, I clicked on text and we come over and we have several categories of text. Actually, there's probably at least a thousand different fonts in here that we can use. I happen to like the one that's a default, so I'm just going to hit the back button. Okay, and let's create our uh, holiday, holiday greetings. So we just want to uh, overtype this and I'm going to go holiday greetings. Okay. Now we need to change the colors. This has a black glow. Actually, I think I want the green glow. So we're going to go down here and I am going to hover over the green and I am going to left click on that. And then I'm going to pick a green color that I like, which is kind of holiday-ish and then go outside the box and uh, and click to get rid of it. Okay, now we've got the outer color. We need the inner color and we're going to make that a nice red. It's already in red, so I'm going to come over here and hover over the color that I want and then left click. We've got the red. All right, it doesn't quite look right yet and that's because we have, I got to go outside the box and click, because we have an outer text color. It's like an outline. And so we've got red with a white outline. I want red with the red outline so that it's completely red. So I'm going to hover over the red, click again, go outside the box and click. And that looks pretty good. So now all we need to do is we need to create our logo. So if we scroll down, there's a box that we can click to create the logo. However, before we do that, we want to change the file type to a PNG transparency. Otherwise, it'll look just like a JPEG. And uh, for our purposes, we want the PNG transparency. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to create logo. And then again, here's our logo. All we need to do is we can either click download image or we can right click on it save image as. We got two PNG files already. I click save and here's our holiday greetings. So we have all of the clip art that we need. So let's go over to OpenOffice and let's actually create our stationery.